Bradley here with EDM Performance. Today we're going to go through pulling wire off and re-spooling back on an HP Series Molly Cut EDM. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to put the machine in the back uh, where it's going to be easier to thread the wire. So I like to put the head back in this corner. Straight back. Once you get it there, we're going to go around, open up all our covers. I'm going to put the machine in wire prep mode. That'll lock you into this screen where you have wire prep and your tension button that we're going to use for pulling the wire off. Alright, so we got the machine in wire prep mode. With that mode, you can run the back drum with this button here. Push it one time, it puts you in low speed mode. Press and hold the button, and it puts you in high speed mode. Alright, from here we're going to put it into high speed mode and stop it on the right hand of the side of the drum. And as soon as the drum goes to switch direction, we'll push this button and stop it. Now from here, we can roll the drum forward until we get to the end of our wire. Now we're ready to unhook and unspool the wire. Now that we're on this side of the machine, we're going to first lock our tensioner out so it'll get us out of tension on the wire. I'm going to unhook the wire from the drum and cut it loose down here. Then I can pull my old piece out of the machine. Once that's off, I can lock the tensioner all the way down and I can put my unspooler on. Want to make sure to get this snug. Once that's on, we can take the end of our wire, go around the roller, and I'm going to start doing some circles around this. Maybe two. You can go Oh, no, I need him in the band. I'm not set. Yeah, the white band. Now we're set and ready to start pulling wire. One other thing you're going to want to check on this, make sure your wire is tied off. And then you got to make sure you have the wire ran around one of these rollers. So when I turn this roller to pull the wire off, we're also rolling a roller on the box. So now that we're ready to tension, right before we pull the wire off, we're going to unhook the other side. Just like that, and then we can go turn it on. Get your upper tensioner to turn on. You're going to turn off wire prep in your control panel. And you're going to go over and hit the tension button. Now as soon as it gets close, we're going to go back to the front. I'm going to turn tension off. Turn wire prep mode back on. Old wire is all wrapped up. We can pull this off. Get the whole assembly over. Got this, let's dump in the garbage. Alright, before we put wire back on the machine, we're going to go through, look at stuff, and clean up our drum and prep for the new wire. So we'll just use like a simple green type cleaner. 
like to go around. Make sure the drum is good and clean again. I'll wipe out underneath the machine. Come around to this side, same thing. Just give everything a quick wipe down. I like wiping my rollers off. Carbides down here. I'm gonna go over to the front side. Same thing, wipe everything down. Make sure nothing looks broken, no cuts in anything, everything's clean. Alright, next step, we're going to park the drum on the right hand side and get it ready to put wire on it. First thing you want to do down at the bottom, we're going to move the left limit out of the way and we're going to put the right limit about an inch off the side. Then next we'll go up here, push and hold, we'll put it in high speed mode. Now what we want to do is wait for the machine to get back over and we have to stop it on our right hand limit. So you can see your interference bumper down here. Once it gets close to here is when it's going to stop, so that's when you want to be ready up on the trigger. Stop it right there when it slows the drum down and you're ready to pull wire on. I'm going to hold on to the wire from the drum side, cut it loose, I'm going to pull just a little wire back, find a tab here. We'll hook onto it. Again, pull it a little tight. Go around. Now I'm going to have to pull this back off so I don't have to go around too many times yet. Cut that loose. Go back over here. We can take our original spool off. Tie this off, put it off to the side. Our tensioner. We're going to move it up, lock it into place in the middle setting. We're going to start putting the wire through the machine, but before we go, we have to take and move our drum over a little bit so we get a gap in our wire. So you need about 30 turns. So I usually backpedal it a little bit, and you're going to bring the wire towards you. After that, we can unhook here. I got the wire in my fingers. Gonna start running through the machine. Go around this roller first, up to this one. Now don't worry about going too fast here because if you have a little tension on the roll, it helps you keep everything on. So once we get to this side, I'm gonna pull extra Probably about six feet, eight feet of wire. Make sure you get yourself some extra here. We're gonna tie it off and hold it in place with this little magnet. Got our wire tied off. We're gonna take our drum out, guide out. Put that off to the side. Now you find the tip of your wire here. Feed it right through that head and pull that through. I'm going to take the end of my wire and go through my guide. If you have trouble with that, sometimes it can be the cutter, it kind of mushrooms the end. So make sure you guys have a decent set of clippers. Pull this up. Thread our upper guide in. Take our wrench. Snug it up. Take the wire, 
if it gets a little bit bent, you can always clip a fresh end on it. And then we're gonna go through our lower guide. Just like so. Pull that through. Alright, now once we're here, I go back up to this side, and that's where I'll pull my tension back on my wire, pull my magnet off, and then you can get it back on this roller here, pull it up, get it on our roller here, pull it through the bottom. Now we're good all the way to the back of the machine so we can work on pulling it through the seal plate. Alright, we're ran through. I like to make sure you have some extra wire. Before you start this, I'm going to pass it to myself, I'm going to go, usually I get the wire on the end of my finger to stick it through the seal plate and pass it through to myself, just like that. And before we move, I'm going to make sure the roller is on the bottom. There I can make sure that it's on the bottom roller. And now I can go back over to the front, back side here. Now you can either go underneath here on the tensioner and pull it up. I tend to prefer to just go around each roller, a little bit easier. You can see we still have all of our other rollers rolling nice here. So I'm going to go underneath the spool, pass the wire to myself, got it in our hand over here, pull a little bit extra off the roll, we're going to hook it up right back on here. Now this time you can go around twice. Make sure you got it on that anchor good. A little bend over. Snip it off. Before we go any further, we're all tied up and we're threaded through the machine. You guys are gonna wanna go through, rock your back drum, and make sure all of your rollers are spinning. On the larger models, you might have to have somebody check that lower one for you. Go step by step, every roller, make sure they're spinning. And you got your few on the tensioner here. Those all look good. So now we're gonna start pushing some wire through the machine. And you can see it's starting to lay over. And we've got a little bit of a gap there. So we're gonna push a little through just to verify everything looks nice and smooth and we're ready to turn the drum on. We have to set our limit on the bottom. So the first one, we already know where we're at on the left. So we're gonna take this knob and put it in line with that magnetic sensor on the left-hand side. So once that's on that side, I'm going to hit the button one time. We're going to let the wire run over and once it gets to within about a quarter inch of our right hand side, we're going to push the button and stop it again. So right about there. We've got a little bit of extra wire here. We're gonna take our lower limit, bring that over right in line with that contactor, and set right, that. We're gonna run the drum back over. With that limit set on the right side, the machine knows to go back the other way. So now as it's traveling over, we're gonna be ready to stop it in case it switches. We're gonna want about a quarter of an inch here on the left-hand side. 
when we put it in high speed mode you get a little bit of an over travel so you want about a quarter inch on each side for the direction change That wasn't too bad of a spot there, so we'll go back and check on the right-hand side. So I just stopped it on that side. We got a little bit of a big gap here. So I'm gonna go on this bottom adjuster, loosen it, and I'm gonna shuffle it over about a quarter inch. Another magnetic contactor, a little trick, something metal. You can go underneath here and trip the contactor on this side and it'll switch directions for you. We'll verify that this limit goes over where we want it to. Perfect. Start the drum roughly in the middle right here. We're going to go over and unlock our tensioner. So this is going to get pulled out and then turned and make sure that that locks with the pin out. So tensioner is unlocked. We've got full tension on the wire. Go back to the front side here, turn it back on, and now I'm going to put it into high speed mode. We'll go to both sides, make sure everything returns, and we're ready to run. Now before we run, you always have to make sure we index a fresh carbide spot when we have fresh wire. Depending on your machine when it was made, it'll either be these flats or possibly a 10 millimeter nut. So we'll loosen this, index that over 90, and then re-tighten that up. There's a 10 millimeter on the bottom. You're going to do the exact same thing to that one. 